friends. So Scholastic has given us permission to share this story, um, Nuffle Bunny by Mo Williams. And this is Trixie and Trixie's favorite stuffed animal, Nuffle Bunny. Nuffle Bunny. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Looks like they live in the city. There's a big building that they live in. Wonder where they're going. Hmm, they're carrying a basket full of clothes. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, and into the laundromat. If you've never been to a laundromat before, a laundromat is a place where people go to do laundry and they have washers and dryers there. Trixie helped her daddy put laundry into the machine. Oh, does it look like Trixie's doing a good job helping? Hmm. She's got clothes on her head. That's silly. Uh-oh. Look at Trixie's dad. Hmm. Looks like he's reaching for... Oh no, is that her favorite stuffed animal? She even got to put the money into the machine. Hmm. Then they left. Uh-oh, look inside the machine. Who is in there? Do you see him? Oh no, is that Nuffle Bunny? Yikes. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Hmm, what do you think Trixie realized? Yeah, do you think she realized she left Nuffle Bunny somewhere? Yikes. Let's see. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Argle, flaggle, clabble. Uh-oh. I don't think Trixie has any words yet. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Oh, boy. He doesn't understand. Trixie's words because they're just babbles. Hmm. Aggle, flaggle, claggle, said Trixie again. Oh, does her dad look like he knows what he meet what she means? No, he's got a confused face. Blaggle, paggle, wumble, flaggy, slurp. Oh no, how do you think Trixie's feeling? Trixie's got tears coming out of her eyes, her eyebrows are kind of up in the air. Hmm, how do you think she feels? Yeah, really sad. <sighs> now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. When she went boneless. Oh no. She's flopping and crying. Why is she flopping and crying? Yeah. You said she's miss missing Nuffle Bunny. You got it. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. Oh dear. Everyone's looking at her. Have you ever been unhappy and gotten really upset like Trixie? 
Think of a time when you've been really upset about something and it was really hard to tell your family with words. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Oh, look at his face. How do you think he feels? He doesn't look happy, you're right. Maybe mad, disappointed, upset. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Uh-oh, sounds like she knows what the problem is. Hmm, oh no. Look at the dad's face now and Trixie's face. How do you think Trixie's feeling? Really angry, look at his eyes and Trixie's dad. He looks a little scared. <laughs> The whole family ran down the block. Where do you think Trixie's family is going? Hmm. Yeah, if you said the laundromat, you got it. They ran through the park. They zoomed past the school. and into the laundromat. <clears throat> Trixie's daddy looked for Duffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. Hmm. Did he see Nuffle Bunny? I don't think he's finding it. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh my, look at Trixie's face. How do you think Trixie feels? Yeah, she looks really worried. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Have you ever had to look harder for something when you couldn't find it? Maybe your family said, look harder, look inside or look under. Let's see. <gasps> Nuffle Bunny. Look at Trixie's face now. How do you think Trixie feels? She's smiling and jumping. Happy, you got it. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Hmm. Nuffle Bunny. That's pretty cool. Now, I want you to think about a time when maybe you've lost something that you really love. Maybe it was a stuffed animal. Maybe it was a special sweatshirt or a special toy. Um, draw a picture of that and send it to me.